Hey guys, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian. And today, we're going to be looking at some really big numbers. And all of these numbers are going to help us understand the human body a little bit. We're going to start with the tiniest particles and the biggest numbers. So the tiniest unit of matter is called an atom. Sounds kind of like the name, but it's not. This one is A-T-O-M and they make up everything. Solids, liquids, gases, plasma, everything. And guess how many of them make up the human body? Pretty big number. Seven octillion atoms. And I know what you're thinking. Octillion? Is that even a real number? And I'm here to tell you that yes, octillion is a real number. You know how 100 has two zeros and 1,000 has three zeros? Octillion has 27 zeros. That's how many atoms make up you. So all of those atoms join together and they make molecules, slightly larger than an atom. And all of those molecules join together and they make up cells. And how many cells make up the human body? 30 trillion. Not quite as many as an octillion. We've got a 30 and then we've got 12 zeros after it. There are 200 different kinds of cells that make up all of the systems in your body. One of the most important are red blood cells. How many red blood cells are in the body? 24 trillion. 24, with 12 zeros after it. Now why are red blood cells so important? Red blood cells have something called hemoglobin, which is a delightful word to say. And hemoglobin is important because that's how oxygen that you breathe in comes from your lungs to all the rest of your body. It travels in your bloodstream. Another type of cell that's in the human body is your brain cells. And these are super important because they take information from the outside world. It's cold, it's hot, and then tells your body what to do with that information. It sends motor commands to your muscles to make your arms do things like this. Now our body does a couple of things that we don't even think about anymore because we do it so often, but our brain is definitely controlling those things, like blinking. We don't know that we're blinking. We don't have to actively think, okay, I blink. But your body's doing it all the time anyway. So, just out of curiosity, how many times do you blink in a minute? The average human blinks between 15 and 20 times a minute and you're not even thinking about it. Another number that's pretty close to that same thing is breathing, right? You're taking in oxygen all the time, but you don't actually consciously think about doing it. The average human usually breathes between 12 and 20 times a minute, and that starts to add up. That's 23,000 breaths every single day, give or take. 23 with three zeros after it. And one final fun fact about what the human body can do. Now generally, if you're trying to hold your breath to like swim across a swimming pool or just to see how long you can do it, most humans can hold their breath between 30 seconds and two minutes, which seems like a lot to me. But the world record for holding breath the longest is 24 minutes and three seconds. Makes me wanna breathe just thinking about it. So thanks for following along on a little bit more factual numbers-based science short. I promise next week we'll be back to more science magic tricks. Thanks guys, have a good week.